Okay, hello everybody. This is the Guitar Guy 23 with a tutorial on Game Maker Part 2 on how to make a game in Pong. Um, I already um started making my room, so I'm just pretty much gonna restart from this point. I know it's been a while since I've actually made a Part 2. It's actually been basically almost a year, almost. But um, it's kind of awkward. But um, okay. Let's get rid of my rooms so then I can show you how to make backgrounds, sounds, pretty much everything else you need to know to make the game. Okay, let's start with making the room to make it easy. So you click on the room tab and then create room. Okay, so here's your room. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, let's focus on backgrounds first. If you want a background for your game, just right click it and then go to create background in the background tab. And you can load a background they come with, which is a better choice because I don't know how you'd make your own. But, um, let's see, where can I find them? Um, they come with the game somewhere. Okay, um, let's just, wait. Okay, I have this Mario background thing, right? I just couldn't find one that came with it, so I'm just going to select my Mario background. Okay, so that's how you get a background. It's pretty easy. To load your background in the, um, the room, you just go to the background thing here. Um, you click on the no background thing. This means load it, so you load your background. Yeah, by the way, those um little silver lines, don't get distracted by them. But um that's just so you can set it up. Okay, so now let's create our room. You want to go to your objects, select your object. Let's start with making the room as in the wall. Okay, so you're going to select the wall down here. And then it should you click on a square and it should show the um black dot or square. So just watch what I do and you'll get it. Okay, so just continue this little pattern so it creates like a little trapped um, contraption. Just like this. Okay, you got your basic room now. So now just add the ball. Just put it in the center or whatever. Anywhere. And then put your paddles in. Paddle 1 right here. Select paddle 2 and put it on the other side. By the way, since last video I switched my colors. So yeah. Okay, you're basically ready to test your game out. Let's do it. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, here it is. What do you think? I can move both guys with the W and S some the W and S keys and the up and down like I said you just gotta wait for the ball to get in your area and then you can hit it and then this is basically just you can play with friends you know for fun oh you hear that sound by the way I'll get to how to make sounds after this okay so it hits sounds whenever it hits the um paddle I'll teach you how to do this really quick okay it's pretty simple you just go to sounds create sound and you can pretty much just load one and it comes with a whole bunch of sounds just try to find one where it, it comes with it where it should make a little sound or whatever you heard on mine so you do that and you see I have my sounds right here and you wanna if you wanna um whoops if you wanna get it to work you have to um... ok 
Okay, go to your objects and select the paddles. And you go to... Whoops, this is too big. Okay, add event, collision with ball. I already did that. And then you do play, you go to um, the second tab and you do the sound little thing, drag it over here. And then it should tell you to load a sound and then you just select it. So whenever it hits the ball, it plays sound 2, which is the sound I selected. Okay? And you do that the same with your other paddle too. Okay, except I have a different sound for each paddle, so I had sound 1. Same thing. Um, that's pretty much my Game Maker tutorial. I hope these two videos helped you out. If you like them, subscribe, and I've gotten a lot of comments saying, you know, they're good, a lot of messages. So, um, if you think they're good, you know, post a comment, whatever you feel like, and, uh, hope this helped. I'll be, I'll, I'll think about making more Game Maker tutorials. Game Maker's a pretty cool program. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.